In this video we're going to, this is going to be the video that we'll use in solving quadratic inequalities. The idea that, that we use here are, are much more general than that. We're going to be looking at ideas that we could use to consider when one function is less than another function. We've already examined situations where we've solved an inequality uh, using algebraic methods. For example, if we're looking at 3x plus 7 is less than 5, we, uh, we could subtract a 7 from both sides. That would mean that 3x would need to be less than or equal to a negative 2. Then we could divide both sides by 3. Now let's consider that same situation, but from a graphical standpoint. If we graph 3x plus 7 and graph uh, g of x is equal to 5, then those two functions intersect at this point A. And it's clear that this red part of 3x plus 7 is less than the function g of x. The green part is greater than. So what we need to do is find the x value of this intersection point A. That's precisely what we did when we did the algebra issue. We worried about finding when 3x plus 7 is equal to 5. That gave us this x value and then we knew that the x's would need to be uh, less than or equal to the x's that would make 3x plus 7 less than 5 would be the x's that are less than or equal to whatever the x value of that a is. So now let's consider the problem of solving x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. We'll begin by graphing f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 12 and g of x is equal to 0. Here we've graphed f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 12 and g of x is equal to 0. Of course g of x is equal to 0 is in fact just the x-axis. Now these two functions intersect at the points a and b. It's clear from the graph that x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than 0 between those points A and B. So the solution to this inequality is going to be to find the x's between A and B. Or we'll need to find the x value of A, the x value of B, and the x's that will make this inequality true are those x's that are between those two. So the first thing that we want to do is solve x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. That's just simply solving a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation is easy to solve because luckily x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0 factors and therefore because of the zero product property either x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So the x values that make x squared minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 are x is equal to 6 and x is equal to a negative 2. That agrees with what we were seeing in the graph. You see notice this this parabola intersects this line at x is equal to 6 and x is equal to a negative 2. And so now the answer to x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than or equal to 0 are all of those x's between x is a negative 2 and x is a uh, and, and x is 6. Here we've shown the solution colored in red. It's all the x's between a negative 2 to and including a positive 6. The solution to x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. We have seen from some graphical and combination of algebra techniques 
is therefore the set of all x so that negative 2 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 6. In interval notation, that is square bracket negative 2 comma 6 close square brackets. We're using square brackets here because when x is a negative 2, then x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0, and we were interested in the situation where uh, that function was actually less than or equal to, so we wanted to have the square brackets included. Or that is, we wanted to use square brackets to say those endpoints were included.